Okay, so welcome to the first video for Achilles Survival. This is where we're going to build our lean-to shelter. As you can see, picked two trees, one there and one there that we're going to put a crossbar against. And then we've got an area that's already roughly marked out so that we can clear it and start to build the, uh, the lean-to itself. So what we're going to do now is um, we're going to clear the uh, leaf litter off the area where we're going to sleep. Um, if you see here, I've got a stick that's very, very long, probably about two and a half metres long. Um, reason being, while I'm sweep sweeping, if I'm in a country that may have snakes or scorpions or spiders, it gives me the distance to get myself away from that animal. As you can see now, we've cleared it right down to uh, mud level, including the entrance at the front to make sure that there is no chance of having any kind of stinging animal or anything that you may lay on top of that's going to bite you during the night. What we'll now do is all this leaf litter will then get replaced because it's more important to have more layers on the ground than it is to have layers on top to get you separated and make sure the thermal property is uh, underneath you rather than being completely ground level underneath and freezing cold during the night. So as you can see now we have uh, cleared the area and we have now got our box that we are going to now fill up with leaf litter to give us our bed for the night. So as you can see we've started to refill it with leaf litter but while you're doing that what you really need to do is get in amongst the leaf litter and get all these sticks out. You don't want any of these sticks in but don't throw them away, keep them because these can help you for firewood. As you can see we've now filled the square back in with a deep layer of leaf litter to give you a good mattress, not quite a feather mattress but it's certainly going to keep you warm and off the floor on a night time. Good thermal properties and it should keep you nice and warm during the night. Right so at the minute we've finished doing the, uh, the bottom part, we're now going to put in the crossbar. Okay, so as you can see there, I've got a support there and I've got a support there. I'm going to string the crossbar across these two trees and then secure it in place with paracord. So what we've got here is we've got some paracord, but we've only got a small amount. Um, so in the actual bag itself, you've got 15 metres, but you don't want to be using that 15 metres. So what you can do is cut the paracord and then strip the inside out of the main part, which will give you more paracord because it's just as strong as the main body. Okay, so as you can see at the minute, we've got the, the roof pretty much on. We've got the crossbar in. We've then got these poles that go all the way down to the back. As you can see, providing the roof over the top of the shelter. Moving round, you can see you've got the crossbar is now lean laid down on top of the uprights giving it a bit of support and then it's also tied in with a bit of paracord with a purchase knot. Purchase knot will be taught on a later lesson. Then on the top we've laid lots and lots of fine branches with loads of branches so they grab onto each other providing you with a lattice top. Then you've got some other bigger sticks across the top just to hold it all down and now what we're doing is we're now covering the top in leaf litter to give you your windproof and waterproof top here you can see started to build the shelter around because that direction is the way the wind's coming so build the shelter around so that it gives you that little bit of extra cover into the tree Okay then, here we have a pile of leaf litter, just for ease, what we're doing is we're using the poncho, as you can see here, laid out on the floor, we've piled the leaf litter up, we're then going to pile it onto the poncho, and then that gives us a nice easy way to carry the uh, leaves over to the shelter and place them all on top. Right, so as you can see, that is us, not complete because you can always improve, but that is us pretty much done for uh, 
for covering up the uh, the shelter. Now the most important thing about the shelter is that you've got to make sure the top foliage that's going to be your protection against the elements is at least um, sort of forearm deep. Okay, so you can see nice nice thick bed to lie in, all wooded in, um, and you can see how the sort of structure works. So there's your internal ribs that's holding up the weight of all that foliage. Under there you've then got another layer of uh, thin scraggly sticks so it grabs onto the foliage and then you've just got layer upon layer upon layer of, uh, of leaf litter. And that is you. You've then got your lean to. So as you can see now inside the uh, we're now inside the shelter wrapped up inside the poncho because it's windproof and it'll keep you warmer than just lying there on top of the leaves. Um, some people say that you should put the poncho on the actual roof frame to give you a waterproof seal but that I think is crazy to me because for any reason, if you've got to bug out and leave this area, you've then left one of your lifelines, your survival aids, static in a location that you are not going to be able to return to.